about to go out and I decided to get a little fierce and feisty so I decided to wear this beautiful blue wig this is like my favorite wig in my collection like in who would have thunk it who would have thought that I love this wig so much but I do I really really do so I um, didn't know how I was gonna go about it I did want to use the um, LA Splash foundation again. I tried it with another foundation. Um, just a little mixture of it and see how well it did. And it's still incredible. I still love it to pieces. It still is super matte like nobody's business. So yeah, um, if you want to see how I got this little basic little look with some glitter around the corners of my eye or whatever, then definitely stay tuned now. <laughs> hey guys, so I start off by doing my brows and I've already placed the um, liquid lipstick by Anastasia in the color paint. It is a blue liquid lipstick. And then I go and take Midnight, which is a black liquid lipstick, both by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I basically do my brows the same way I would normally do them, just with liquid lipsticks. Now I'm going to take NC45 and Coco by LA Splash. I can definitely tell you I love this combo because I needed some more yellow into this foundation. And as you can tell, it's basically almost a perfect shade for me and it looks amazing. Now I'm going to take the uh, Tarte Shape Tape, my favorite concealer at the moment, of course. And I'm going to use that to highlight my face, you know, underneath my eyes, above my forehead, down the center of my nose, above my cupid's bow, and my chin area. And I'm using a basic black beauty blender to blend that out. It is damp. And I'm just blending for the gods. Now I'm going to take the Tarte Deep Concealer and I'm basically going to reverse contour by placing that concealer underneath where I would contour my cheekbones. And just blend it out. Now I'm going to take Black Opal's Neutral Light Setting Powder. It's the loose powder and I am going to not bake underneath my eyes but I'm just going to press that underneath my eyes uh, just using a little bit but I am going to bake um, my nose and I'm placing a little bit extra on my forehead because that's where I get the oils at taking a little bit extra of that powder and I'm going to contour my nose using NW48 by MAC it's the Studio Fix um, powder foundation I'm taking just a small um, compact blending brush and blending it all the way into my eyebrows. Now I'm going to take cinnamon from Anastasia and I'm going to use a Real Techniques contour brush and I am going to use that to bronze up my face, bring back a little bit color, a little bit more color back into my face. <laughs> um, contour my forehead and my cheekbones. Then I'm going to take Carab also by Anastasia and I'm going to further define my contour. And I'm using that same brush. Now I'm going to take Max uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark. And a big brush that I got from Coastal Scents a long time ago. Um, it's falling apart. I put it back together because I love it. And I'm just going to press that um, Mineralized Skin Finish into uh, my skin. I know this is a lot of powder, but this is what I do. <laughs> Now I'm taking Black Opal's uh, Dark Loose Powder and I just absolutely love it. It kind of blurs, you know, my face for me. I don't, I don't, I, I really think it blurs everything, honestly. That's why I use it. Now I'm going to take the Nicole Glow um, by Anastasia. Again, I say this kit is definitely really not a must-have, but I do use it in my kit. And I also use like that peach shade because that peach shade is the only shade that I really use out of there on myself. You know, that's the only one that just really attracts me. Every, everything else is, is kind of very too blinding. I know that's crazy, but it's too blinding on me. So I just don't use it that much. Um, now I'm taking the Modern Renaissance Palette. This is all about Anastasia today, I guess. And I'm using that pink shade. And I am basically going to do a two shadow look using that pink shade first. And then I'm using this nice champagne gold-ish kind of shade. And I'm placing that all over my lid. 
And then I go back a little bit into that pink shade and blend out the, um, the edges. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape, not Tarte Shape Tape, Tarte Tarties Liner and a Dillium Tools uh, Mascara Fan to uh, create my wing liner. I have done um, the wing liner trick in another video. I'm not for sure which one. But I'll try to zoom in for you so you can see how I'm doing it. But I feel like this mascara one like makes it so easy. I do go back and kind of clean it up just a tad bit with a um, a liner brush. But the mascara one does the trick for me. And I absolutely love the Tarte Tartiest Liner because it's super, super black. And that is that for my liner. I'm just really trying to fill it out, figure out what I want to do next. Um, now I'm taking the Glam Lashes in the style Giselle. You guys, I absolutely love her lashes. Um, they are all pretty amazing. Um, they are mink lashes. They've lasted me probably over 25 times now. Um, I love them. I absolutely love them. And y'all know I love Lola as well. What? Mask off. What? Mask off? <laughs> oh, don't chase what? Hey! <laughs> now I'm going to take a little bit of Ben Nye's glitter glue and I am going to place that into my um, crease area. And also California Soul Glitter from Lit Cosmetics and just pack that over top of that glitter glue. I do love the glitter glue because it, you know, helps me not to make a super huge mess um, with the glitter. Now I'm taking Summer Bliss by um, LA Splash, which I have a code for you guys down below. So check it out. The code is Love Serenity, but again, I will leave the code down below for you to check it out. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. I love you. Thanks.